Hey guys, my name's Jackson. Now, I've just finished high school and I'm looking to get myself a job. Only thing is, with all the different possibilities and choices out there, I'm really unsure of what I want to do. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to go behind the scenes of a few different trade centres, see what the jobs are all about, how much training is involved, and if it's any fun. So today I'm here at Coburn Carcraft. Now these guys specialise in panel beating, panel and paint, and accident smash repairs. So we're here in the factory, which is a bit noisy at the moment, but uh, I'm really excited to get a start and see how things work around here. So we're going to go have a chat with Peter, who runs the place, and hopefully uh, get right into it. So I'm here with Peter, who runs the shop here at Coburn Carcraft, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what the process is about smash repairs. So Peter, if I'm here interested in a job working for you at Coburn Carcraft, what would be the first step we take when a car comes in looking to be repaired? Well, the day starts at 8, eight o'clock for the tradesmen to come into the shop to do the repairs. The, uh, the jobs are already authorised to do, carry out the repairs. The tradesmen will do the uh, body repairs, measuring systems if necessary on the machines that are now available to do technical measuring on the laser side of things. Uh, the repairs are carried out in the body shop. The car then progresses through the shop to the paint shop where it has the preparation done by the paint technicians and uh, all the colours are organised in advance so they, when it's through the paint shop it's the process flows pretty reasonably straightforward. Alright, tell us a bit more about this uh, laser measurement system you have. The body machine now is available to laser measure the vehicle underneath for any deformities from the accident caused. Uh, it can be repositioned and measured uh, prior to, or can be measured prior to the accident or prior to the repairs. And then the final repair has a printout which is, shows the quality of the repairs have been carried out the correct procedure of the manufacturer specifications. Alright, cool. So when we find out where the damage spot of the car is, how do we go about repairing that? Uh, it's on the bench and it's pulled to the measurements. The measurements are live while the vehicle's being repositioned. You can watch the actual measurements being corrected on the screen and then that is set up and the panel's repaired and replaced accordingly to what's required on the car. Yeah, so a lot more advanced than just uh, banging with a hammer you'd say. Oh, by a long way, yes. Yeah, yes, cool. Yes. Alright, so uh, we've repaired the car, we've done all the uh, damage repairs, so we move on to the painting, was it? Yes, the paint shop is uh, set up electronically to yeah. match the colours which are established on the car for the repairs. The, uh, the me measuring in the uh, paint shop is done all on the computer as far as the formulas for the colours. They're usually pre-mixed for the car once it's prepared to go into the booth. Mm -hmm. The booths are oven, uh, ovens which are controlled by the computer as well for the baking times and the cooling down times. Once the paint's been applied, it goes through the baking situation, and then the uh, car is cooled down, come out of the booth for reassemble. Well, thanks for talking to us, Peter. Really appreciate your time and we'll see you around the shop. So Travis, I heard you did pretty well at the World Skills. Uh, yeah, World Skills is like a competition considering all um, all trades really. So uh, yeah, well, they, they had a competition at TAFE and they got me to do a certain job which was just paint the door really and mix a couple colours, match, I match a couple colours. I got through the, the first round and then that, they're going to send me to Sydney which is the uh, national competition. Cool. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. That's at the end of August and then from there, if I get through, they take me to the uh, the Worlds, which is going to be held in Germany. Excellent. So yeah, and no, I'm really looking forward to that. So how long have you been working here as a tradie? I've been working in this shop for three and a half years. All right. And um, yeah, no, I love it. Great job. Yeah. Great people. So definitely recommend it. Yeah, definitely. It's a good team of good team of people out there where I am, and you learn a lot, and they're really supportive, and they get you to do a lot of uh, a lot of prep work, a lot of paint jobs early. So. Yep. No, it's really good, I love it. Cool, and what training did you have to do to uh, get into this? Well, I did a pre-apprenticeship. They, they kind of get you, they teach you all the basics and they get you to, yeah, they get you to do a little bit of paint work, prep work, and then after about six months of doing that course, they sort out a job, like work experience. Okay. It's a three and a half year apprenticeship, but with a, uh, if you do a pre-apprenticeship course on top of that, that's, they take three months off, so it's three, three okay. years and three months uh, apprenticeship, and then yeah, you'll be fully qualified. Yeah, nice. All right, so is this panel ready for painting now? Uh, yeah, this is ready. That's basically it. We'll just tack it, we'll blow it, blow any dust off, and then we'll get ready for paint. All right, awesome. Sick. 
Look at that, good as new. So I finished off an awesome day here at Coburn Carcraft, had a lot of learning experiences. I've learned that the people here are really switched on to do their jobs and they all come together to help each other out. It's a great work environment. You're not sitting behind a desk in front of a computer screen being bored all day. You're working with your hands, standing up, working on some really nice looking cars. And the best thing is, if you're doing your apprenticeship, you get to earn while you learn, making sweet cash while doing a great job. Well, this is my first stop on a long list of other trades I'm going to be checking out over the next few weeks, so I'll catch you all next time.